Hello, crypto world. Welcome to The Chart Historian. My name is Justin, and on this channel, I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals, and patterns. Well, I wanted to give an update on where I see XRP in regards to the three different options that I spoke about in my last video. So here we are on a two-hour candle, and this is the second fractal of the sideways range bound time over here is the first fractal right here. So this is where it ended, this is where it began. And over here is the termination fractal of the decline. So we are progressing as we should in proper order, doing exactly what these fractals do. This one, this move up was, was unprecedented as far as this structure goes. It has never moved up this high in the past, but it's moved up in the right place. And it continues to follow the structure as it declines. So where am I pulling my data from? I am pulling my data from over here. Now, I could go back further in time and pull my data from other range-bound sideways times, such as here. This time happens after the decline and before the next bull run. The reason why I am pulling from this one is because recent history tends to be the most accurate, if you will, as far as what today's structure is doing. So I could go back here and find many similarities. However, this one right here has a greater abundance of similar moves. Nothing's exact, but similar moves to today's chart. So here is fractal one, here is fractal one. The A is the move up, the B is the part that kind of goes flat and sideways. In fractal two, we have three waves, wave A, wave B, and wave C, just like we have wave A here, wave B, and this, this massive monster of a wave is wave C. That is why we are not in a bull run. We are copying an exaggerated form right here, albeit, but we are copying a range-bound fractal. Next, we need to go into fractal three, which will happen at the end of this decline. So out of those three options that I gave in my last video, what is my opinion as of now? Well, let's zoom in and scrutinize what's going on here a little closer. Okay, so here we are on a one hour candle. So the first option was this. I had copied this structure and matched it to today's current timing, height, and depth. Now this one still could potentially be in play. It is turning out to be, if it is, much larger than this one. And it continues to be larger and larger than I initially thought. However, it is still a possibility, even though it is kind of dragging out over here. It could still be doing this, this uh, kind of bounce right here before the drop. Now, this drop, I don't know how deep it will go. This is just a representation of that drop. I don't know the length of this consolidation here. So that is option one. It's still on the table. It, to me, it's starting to look a little less likely. Let's go to option two. Option two was that XRP will go sideways for an undefined amount of time until it completes the rough idea of this structure here before dropping. Again, the length and the drop, this is just a representation. I don't know the exact depth of the drop. I don't know how long these consolidations will last. But if we zoom in a little closer, we can see that it is following the rough idea of this structure. So if this is in play, I would like to see something along this outline here to materialize. So I would say this is definitely in the running. We'll have to see how this continues to play out, but this is so far looking very promising. Now let's look at option three. So option three was that the decline was at its completion. And the reason why I thought that is you could take this declining fractal from over here in fractal two and match it to the decline here. And it could potentially look like, now this is matched to the current decline. You could, sorry, make it look like it 
has completed. This blue part right here, this blue fractal, would be the beginnings of fractal 3. Now, what do I think of this structure? Well, I don't feel very confident that this is following this structure. It could be just on a bigger time frame. Maybe it's just this. I don't know. However, this depth of this decline is unprecedented in the XRP history of this fractal playing out. It's played out many times before. I tend to think that this decline is not over yet. I'm still not going to rule this out, but the more this continues to play out, the more I feel that this structure has more downward movement to go. So here's why I believe that option two may be what is at play. So if you take any of these declining structures in recent history and stretch them out to meet today's timing, height, and depth, you'll see that this is what is going on right now. It's not complete yet. It's in the works. Here's another one we can take. color. So as you can see, there are three basic parts to this structure. We've completed the first two parts, and we are currently most likely working on the third part. So that is why I believe option two is the most likely option, this option. So if this is at play, we still have some more sideways grinding to work out before the decline takes place. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. If you found it helpful, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, so none of this should be used as financial or investment advice. The type of technical analysis I do is original. It's a system I have discovered. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.